All right, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Q. I'm back at it again with another video for you guys. And we are back with episode two of the placement hunt. All right, in this video, we're gonna be keeping it short and sweet. We're gonna be doing something kind of like the last video, but the difference is I'm gonna be doing a complete from scratch cook up for something that I actually wanna send out. It's gonna be in the style of like Lil Uzi, Pop Hunna, so something super melodic and bouncy. You might even call it hyper pop if you want to. But the main focus with this video is gonna be keeping that melody super simple so the drums can come in and just make it really bounce. And I know you guys don't wanna hear me talk all day, so let's just jump in LFL Studio and get it ready. All right, so I got the session pulled up right here and I'm keeping that BPM at 140. First thing I'm gonna do is just go into a one shot kit and just find like some kind of bell or like little pluck. This one actually already sounds perfect. So we're gonna cut itself, go to the piano roll. And I'm thinking F minor now. Yeah, let's see what we can do. So I'm just lengthening these notes. I'm going to duplicate it over for four bars. And then we're going to go into the envelope settings. Just, just like this. Then I'm just deleting this and duplicating that over again. All right, then what I'm going to do is just clone this. Take it off of mix track one. And we're going to copy the same pattern over. Let's see if we can find a better plug. All right, so I like where this is going so far. I'm going to add a bass just so I can bring like some ideas out a little better. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is look for another pluck to use as a part as like kind of a transition. So there's gonna be like a larger part of the section and then a really smaller part. So it'd be for basically when the verse comes in. Like this in there, Take that there, boom. Control C, Control V, go with this. Now I'm just trying to add some leads up in here. thinking of adding one more sound just like a background arp that kind of sits there super subtly i right, like that so i'm going to bring it to mix track four we're just going to process it a little bit first things first take out some of that low end I want this sound to be kind of like dirty, so I'm gonna add an RC retro color. We're just gonna take off the noise. We're gonna widen it. Put a little bit of space. And we're 
we're just gonna add a delay eternity. Another EQ. I'm just gonna shape this how I want it. Oh, perfect. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is just mix all these sounds. I'm gonna bring everything down and just slowly start adding everything in. Master, I'm gonna add here is just uh, Kramer tape. Pretty much just keep it at the default. Maybe bring the noise up a little bit. Cool. And then what I'm gonna do is just render this out as a loop. And then I'm just gonna go file new. Open up a new FL Studio. We go to my loops folder. Find that loop we just made. Drag it in there. And I'm just going to cut it up based on the stems. And what I'm going to do here is I know this last part is just the base. So I'm going to make it unique. I'm going to route that to Mixer Track 1 because I know I'm not going to put any effects on it. And the rest of these I'm going to bring to Mixer Track 2. And I'm going to add a parametric EQ. Take out all the bass. So now I'm going to bring the pattern in. We're going to get working on the drums. So with a beat like this, I usually... We'll end up just starting with the clap. I'm gonna go to my kit. Use this clap called bounce. Default pattern, I'm gonna just adjust this out knob. Actually, I think we're gonna use this. this. Actually, I think we're gonna use this clap called meth. to stay pretty much the same one step and then highlight that over i'm just going to edit the second half of it a little bit all right so i like that let's start on some snares If you guys watched my last video of the first episode of the placement hunt you are probably going to see some of the tactics i used in the virtual bounce so if you haven't watched that video go check that out So time for the 808. So we're gonna use this one for my kit called Addition. Probably my most popular 808. But I'm gonna be doing something a little different here. I'm gonna adjust this out knob to make it super short. And then just hit cut itself and let's get working. A little louder. I'm gonna route everything to the mixer track by hitting Control Shift L.
hi-hat a little bit louder. I'm also gonna add this transition in my kit called Timed. Track that out. And this is pretty much the beat right here. All right, but yeah, so that is the beat. You guys will hear it after. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button because that helps out a lot. If you're not already subscribed, please click that subscribe button. Make sure to follow me on all social medias, Instagram, Twitter for the most part. And that is all I got for you guys. So I will see you in the next episode, number three, coming soon. See you later.